Hello everyone, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 2.1 Represent 4 digit numbers Okay, now we are in grade 3 and we can have bigger numbers So we can have numbers in thousands Okay, so let's look at this What number is represented by the base 10 blocks? Okay, so we have one big cube Okay, we know that this big cube is for the thousand so we have one thousands okay now we have one two three four five flats and these five flats are five hundreds then we have one two three rods three rods are three tenths then two units these are two ones okay so the number is one thousand 532 okay so now we have four digits it means we are in the thousands okay number two okay again we have one big cube which is the 1000 then the hundreds we have no flats so we have zero hundreds okay what about these these are rods these are tens so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine rods so we have nine tens then we have how many units one two three four five six seven eight units it means eight ones so our number is one thousand ninety eight so guys if we if we have no hundreds we put zero in the hundreds place because if we didn't put this zero, the number became uh, three digits, so it will be hundreds, not thousands. So we have to focus and put this zero. Okay, number three. It says here, how can you represent the number in the place value chart and in expanded form? Okay, so let's first represent the number in the chart and we'll see what is the expanded form. Okay, so what do we have here? We have four digits. The fourth digit, this is the thousands. So we have two in the thousands. Then we have four in the hundreds. Then we have four in the tens. Then we have six in the ones. This number is 2446. So how can we write it in the expanded form? In the expanded form, we split the number by the place values how look at this so we have two in the thousands we write two thousands so two thousands this is two and three zeros okay then we have the hundreds and the hundreds has two zeros so we can say four hundreds four and two zeros then the tens four and one zero and the ones only six without any zero so we can write the number like this two with three zeros two thousand then four with two zeros four hundred then four with one zero it's forty then six with no zeros it's six this form that we write here is called expanded form okay so this is the expanded form and the original form this form with digits this is the standard form and we have one last form which is the word form is we write the number in words or in letters okay okay and let's do number four four thousand seven hundred twenty nine so we'll put four in the thousands seven in the hundreds two in the tens and nine in the ones how we write it in the expanded form split so this four is four thousands four with three zeros plus seven in the hundred seven and two zeros plus two in the tens two one zero twenty then plus nine without any zeros just nine okay we have one last question here it says how can you represent the number shown in standard form okay like we said no standard form is the number in digits okay and expanded form it means we split and we write plus okay so number five three thousand one hundred twelve 
okay first let's write the standard form then we write the expanded form okay so 3000 then comma you see so just write 3 then comma and because it's in the it's in thousands you know that we still have three digits to write the number so 112 is three digits actually one one two so we write them here we're done so 112 we're done so this number is 3112 okay how we write it in the expanded form super easy so we just write the three with three zeros which is 3000 plus the next digit is the hundred so 100 plus the other one is in the tens so 10 one zero only plus the ones write it without any zeros so 3000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 2 you can see if you add these numbers you get the original number you get 3112 okay number six and you need to focus a little bit here okay six thousand eighty seven okay so I write six in the thousands then 87 is this correct guys no teacher this is 687 it's supposed to be 6087 so we have something wrong here yeah we have we have a mistake here so what is the mistake he didn't say in the question any hundreds so if you see here 6000 okay we still need three digits but we have only 87 87 is just the two digits 87 so the missing part here is the hundred so we put zero in the hundreds then we write our 87 now this number is 6087 okay let's write it in expanded form so the six is in the thousands we write six with three zeros so this is six thousand then plus we have nothing in the hundred so you write zero or just ignore it now we go to the tens we have eight in the tens which is eight and zero so it's eighty then seven in the ones we write seven so six thousand eighty seven six thousand plus eighty plus seven last question seven thousand two hundred twenty four okay so seven thousand or I write seven and comma okay remember you have three digits to write so 224 okay this is a good number 224 so it's a three digits already we don't need to write any zeros so write two two four so six th uh, sorry seven thousand two hundred twenty four okay in the expanded form seven with three zeros so seven thousand plus two with two zeros two hundred then we have the tens it's twenty two and one zero and the want is 4 so 7000 plus 200 plus 20 plus 4 7224 okay that's it for the lesson guys hope you enjoyed this lesson have a nice day bye